I want to get into the planned destruction of Obama. We, we told you this would happen in the Obama deception when he had an 85% approval rating, but now the Democrats are getting ready to flush him down the political uh, tubes because they want to give you a new puppet. And on the right, we have Rick Perry to save us. A total theater. But, you know, people are getting wise to these puppets quicker and quicker. So we'll get Ed's view on that coming up in the next segment. Get into Gardasil that I'm doing a big special report on in the next hour and on the nightly news tonight, 7 o'clock Central. Again, uh, legend uh, Ed Asner joins us of uh, films like JFK, TV, Mary Tyler Moore. Uh, the, one of the best films, I think, is uh, he's one of the main voices in the movie Up. Does an incredible job. This is a short segment, Ed, but uh, we're going to come out of break and play a few minutes of the uh, special uh, presentation you did for architects and engineers. But, wow, they have really put on an amazing case. Uh, what do you think the biggest smoking gun of 9-11 uh, is? Well, Building 7. Building 7 being brought down without having been damaged to that extent. Now, am I still on? Yes, sir. Uh, uh, if... You know, the, the amazing thing about 9-11 about in its totality is that this greatest country in the world with the greatest, strongest defense in the world had this horrendous obscenity done to them on 9-11. Uh, so we, we supposedly had gatekeepers, watchmen, protecting us. Why has not one single person been punished for the flaws that occurred? In 9-11. I, I mean, there, there is no guilty person in America, is there? They made the Japanese Prime Minister resign. Uh, the heads of Tokyo Electric heads rolled in uh, Japan. Some people committed suicide over it. Yeah. But, but here they got promoted for standing down, Ed. Doing a great job, Brownie. <laughs> yeah, uh, FEMA. Mm hmm so what does that tell you? I guess they're doing the job they want. I think that they want to make sure nobody uh, no, nobody shoots their mouth off. And if eventually they do, then they'll probably end up dead. Well, that's another good point. Building 7 is, the, is for me, the big smoking gun. Um, you've done this great presentation that's at the Architects for Engineers, Architects and Engineers 9-11 Truth site. Um, I mean, just incredible, big-time architects now. Major skyscraper architects are now going public, as you know. Yeah, yeah. Physicists, uh, engineers, architects, uh, 1,500 of them. And are these all fools, these highly educated people? They, they, they may not be the, the leading architects in the country, but, boy, they sure are, are, are aware of the conditions of 9-11. Well, some of them now in the, in, in, the video, in the video interviews I'm seeing are some of the leading architectural uh, uh, engineers and architects uh, in the country. It's just amazing. But I don't have to be an architect or engineer to know that when I see CNN footage of police saying, get back, they're going to bring that building down. And Larry Silverstein says they gave the order to pull it, and I can see blast points going off as it falls at free fall. And the NIST says, no, it wasn't free fall. Only controlled demolition can do that. And now they have to admit the building did fall at free fall, Ed. Uh, oh. Well, you know, uh, listen, I, I've preached and talked 9-11, and I come across good American burgers and educated people, middle-class people. And when I bring up 9-11, they don't want to know that the emperor has no clothes. They don't want to know that there is no Santa Claus. They don't want to know. They want to believe further in the American myth that we can do no wrong, that we would not do such heinous acts as participate in some way to the destruction that occurred in 9-11. Well, now we learn that Amor al Awlaki, two weeks after 9-11, when he was on the most wanted list, number three in Al-Qaeda, was meeting secretly at the Pentagon with the Secretary of the Army, Ed. Oh, really? I didn't know that. Yeah, that's even an Associated Press. Came out a few months ago, but didn't really get any attention. Uh, that's pretty suspicious. Well, do, do people even wonder why Osama bin Laden was not on the FBI wanted list for 9-11? Do people even realize that? 
Every time I mention that, I get emails saying I didn't believe you and went and looked, and they find out it's true. He was never on it. Let's talk about that when we come back. A short break, long segment. Uh, we're going to come back from break, play a few minutes of uh, Ed Asner's intro video, Ed Asner on Building 7. And uh, then we're going to go right back to Ed and start breaking down uh, some of the other facets of 9-11, the whole Bin Laden fable. Then we're going to look at the two-party dictatorship in America and where Ed sees this country going. Because now even Mayor Bloomberg's talking about riots. I want to hear the discussions that uh, Ed Asner and I are having during the breaks. Pretty amazing information. I'm going to get his take on Ron Paul with you. He's talking more about Ted Knight, who I just love, especially in Caddyshack. Man, what a, what a comedic... Uh, talent. Uh, also, uh, we're going to play a short clip of this video. It's like 15 minutes long. It's at Architects and Engineers for 9-11 Truth's website. It's also up on InfoWars.com. We posted it last week. I'm going to get it. I'm going to get it uh, reposted uh, so that everybody can find it easier. 911 Families Architects and Engineers for 9-11 Truth, narrated by Ed Asner. Here's just the first minute of it. Throughout the ages, architects and engineers have designed and built the great structures that have made our world and withstood the test of time. Hi, I'm Ed Asner. Welcome to Architects and Engineers. Let's look now at modern steel frame buildings. This is the Empire State Building, a marvel of modern architecture. It was built to last. Architects and engineers of today use computers to design and engineer buildings that will endure the forces of nature, such as earthquakes, fires, and hurricanes. This modern skyscraper was also built to last. Building 7. We've seen buildings completely destroyed like this before, but All only right. when done intentionally. Only when done intentionally. you got to go watch it. Some of the most powerful 9-11 truth information I've ever seen. And we just appreciate Ed Asner having the courage and the will to do what he does. Uh, just amazing and, and, and undoubtedly reaching millions of people. Because if we don't expose false flag terror... The military-industrial complex is going to continue to stage these cold-blooded events to completely overthrow our republic. Ed, uh, you were finishing up with Osama bin Laden and the fact that he was never on the most wanted list. Uh, and then uh, what did you think of the report that, uh, that, that uh, Obama uh, had him killed and then the, the Navy SEAL helicopter blows up? Our intel was they blew the SEALs up on the ground. We predicted they'd have a crash with the SEALs on it later. That indeed happened. Why would they do that? To get rid of the witnesses because uh, the, the report is Bin Laden was not in the building. Really? And was already dead, yeah. Oh, my God. Well, I'm too busy with 9-11 to pursue that crime. No, I understand. There is too much. Any other points on 9-11 truth that you think are, are, are central for people to look at? I think that uh, does anybody wonder why there are no black boxes from any of the planes? Has anybody seen the black boxes? Has anybody seen the various uh, TVs that were on in the various stores at the time of uh, the Pentagon and why all those uh, 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 security uh, cameras uh, product was confiscated? Nobody's seen that. Uh, the, the stench in the cover-up of all the acts that took place on 9-11 are so enormous, people just feel too small and 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 refuse to to tumble to the fact that there was complicity in this country in terms of of the carrying out. It was not a perfect threading of the of the needle that 9/11 took place. There 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 should have been some exposure, some talk, somebody. And, and uh, I understand that the 9-11 uh, ceremonies uh, in New York, that they did not even have the first responders make, a, uh, make an appearance there. Is that true? Yes, sir. Uh, CNN, 
Fox News, AP, all reported it. When I first saw it a month ago, I didn't believe it and told my guys, let's go pull some more articles up. And it was confirmed, and then there was a statement by Bloomberg, and then we learned a White House memo that they did not want them there uh, because they're, they know they're angry about the asbestos dust and Bush covering that up. We knew it was deadly and the head of the EPA and also that so many of them are 9-11 truthers that it would uh, be embarrassing. Yeah, that's too bad, isn't it? Yeah. Too goddamn bad. Well, I, I, I think these people are dying on us as we go along, dying from the, uh, the bronchial and the pulmonary diseases they got that day. And uh, that's a hell of a way to honor them by not having them there. So, uh, I, I've got nothing but negatives. I, uh, I find that an 18-foot hole at the Pentagon in the least occupied section of the Pentagon by a pilot who could not fly at all, hardly, could never have engineered a, a, uh, a total U-turn so that he could hit his plane into that particular section of the Pentagon. It, it, it's all such hokey make-believe, and our people keep buying. Well, I know that when you've gone public, some of the media has demonized you. Uh, Martin Sheen uh, questioned Building 7. They tried to demonize him. Uh, Bill O'Reilly shook his finger at the, at the camera and said, you better watch it. Uh, it, it it's total gangsterism uh, by these people trying to intimidate uh, folks, and now we've had Cass Sunstein at the White House. Uh, his memos, of course, have been made public where he said they want to infiltrate 9-11 Truth to inject false information to discredit us. If it was just hokey and if Ed Asner was wrong and if Andres von Bülow, the former German defense minister, was wrong and the former Italian prime minister was wrong and president was wrong, if all these scientists were wrong and all these fighter pilots were wrong and all these police officers that said there was a countdown and they blew up Building 7 and BBC reported that it was going to fall before it fell. Yeah, I mean, if all that evidence is, is just bunk, then why would there be government programs covertly trying to demonize us, Ed? Well, I haven't, you know, I've, I felt like a demon for a long time, so I haven't felt any new uh, trust. Uh, I was on O'Reilly a few months ago, and he treated me like a king. Uh, he was very nice to me. Now, now, I'm talking about years ago when they were really getting scared of 9-11 Truth. There was some demonization and some and some attacks on Fox and other channels, and they would mention 9-11 Truthers. I remember you being mentioned amongst them. So, yeah, that uh, that just, I think, shows a little bit of the uh, the fact that it is just showmanship on their part. Well, he, even, even the liberal commentators, you know, Bill Maher won't even touch it. He, he runs. He runs from it. Uh, it. Uh, they. They. They don't want. They. They're afraid they'll look like fools if they engage in it or be demonized. And I. I guess when they're up that high, they can be demonized, and it can have an effect. But that shows how much courage they've got. Uh, the. Uh, uh, the. The list of horrors. That, that, that occurred on... And hold on just a moment. I think you've got call waiting. I think you've got a call coming in. Uh, it's, it's taken care of, Alex. Okay, great. I, I, I just don't want to interrupt you. Oh, uh, no, that's all right. Please repeat what you were saying to me during the break. You're saying the list of horrors. Start over. The list of horrors of 9-11 is so enormous. And and even even the, the, the heads of the, the spurious 9-11 commission said that they were lied to by the CIA. So where do you begin, for God's sake? My, my, my feeling is that the corruption and the lies that we've been fed have reached such an, uh, an enormous extent. The, the, the military lies, the, the, the congressional lies, the presidential lies, the corporate lies, that uh, uh, the, the level of corruption is, is of such an extreme nature. Uh, I, I think of what the comment I said to you is, I think under, unless we bomb the, the city, we can't save it. So we, we've got to level, bring down to a level of, of clear understanding and begin again. And I don't know how much destruction that entails, but we need a change in this country. Certainly a, a third party of healthy proportions.
It's not about agenda. It's not about mobilizing people. It's about dialing for corporate dollars. These two parties have sold the U.S. government and the American people to the highest bidders.